Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft update showcase. Today I'll be showcasing the new environmental bosses from the Darkness Deaths add-on. Which is one of my favorite add-ons to be honest. I mean, first of all, look at these weapons. I mean, like, come on, who would not like them? I mean, like, come on. For real. This add-on alone would convince someone that Bedrock is at least somewhat cool. In a way. So yeah, but of course... So yeah, for right now there's four bosses only. So yeah, first up we have Pride. Pride is pretty epic, not gonna lie. Pride will try his hardest to not let you in him in a shield box. Yeah, those things exist. So yeah, he's gonna try his hardest to not let you get in his shield whatsoever. So uh, yeah, he will be kind of a challenge. But of course, since uh, he won't be able to hurt you that much, and uh... Okay, so yeah, that's his weapon. Let's get a Ravager to test it on. A Ravager. Okay then. Okay, now it's time for gluttony. So yeah, gluttony works a bit differently. Honestly, the way he works, it's pretty interesting. He's like kind of a really tough boss. Hmm. Okay, this is really interesting. So yeah, Gluttony's more of a the melee type boss. I kind of just chopped him in there. Well, he's kind of the easiest boss, I think. But when he dies, that sound plays, and it's annoying. Fucking ears, my poor ears. It's like a finishing move. Now it's time for to test out the weapon. So yeah, that's what he dropped. But of course, using this weapon results in hunger for some reason. So yeah, you're gonna try to aimlessly attack that all the time, huh? Pathetic. Oh my god, it killed him. Now it's time. For an, the other boss, which will be the um, ancient uh, druid. <laughs> so yeah, the ancient druid is gonna be pretty tough. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna be a boss that summons most of the time. And what the fuck? Holy shit! What's this? Holy shit! That was interesting. Okay, no, this is too powerful. Get the lightning one. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna be... A, a, he's the environmental boss. The other two were just crystal bosses. And... Can I stop again? There! Again, really? Okay, this is interesting. The environmental bosses are a bit tougher than the normal bosses, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. The, the, there's only one um, boss in the add-on that has a spawn egg, though. I don't know why the others don't have one, though. It's kind of annoying, if you think about it. I mean, like, come on. And, of course, my armor has to break. I hate when this happens. I got the night set because it never breaks. So, uh, yeah. Let's keep going with the boss. Die! God, he's almost dead. Die already! 
And yeah, he also drops his very own weapon called the Axe of the Druid, Ancient Druid King. It does 53 attack damage. It's pretty useful for tougher mobs. I mean, like, the Ravager only has 100 HP, so he's basically helpless against this. Now it's time for probably the toughest boss of the add on, which is the, uh, hang on, okay, which is the, uh, which is the the full moon of Geisha. So uh, yeah. For her I suggest get the spell glove with the lightning orb. Which is mainly, the, the lightning orb is probably the most useful one to be honest. Okay, you know what, hang on. Switching to fire orb. Okay, you know what, no, it's not gonna do shit to her. At least get like, something that can hurt her. I suggest that. And then, yeah, she'll do that. Eventually. See, so, yeah. okay, now she's in her, her finale. So yeah, she'll be pretty tough within this stage. What's that? Oh shit. I, okay, I entered her region. I just killed her in like five nanoseconds. Okay, and this is what she drops. It isn't really a weapon. She only drops two Geisha Jewels. Which are pretty worth it. Not gonna lie. Bye. For now.